Sports Talk. I'm Chris. This is going to be an NHL edition, and we are talking about Matt Murray. This is like, where is Waldo? Now, when I was watching some of the games, I just presumed that he was out with rest. I saw quite a few games earlier on in this season where the Ottawa Senators were absolutely getting dominated by everyone that they were playing. And I understand that they're a bad team, not because of lack of talent, it's just lack of experience. And they will be good in the near future, it's just the prospects take time to develop. So after the Pittsburgh Penguins trade Matt Murray to the Ottawa Senators for Jonathan Gruden and the 52nd pick, he signed a four-year, $25 million contract extension with the Ottawa Senators. And the Ottawa Senators were making a statement to Matt Murray saying, we think that you're going to be our goaltender of the future. We have the utmost faith in you. Here it is. The keys are yours. Let's see what you can do. So before Matt Murray's lower body injury, he was on a pretty decent run in mid-March, end of April. He was doing very well. The team wasn't doing very well. But as an individual, 923 save percentage, 929. 914, 1,000, 1,000. You know, he had one bad game against Calgary where he gave up four goals and 11 shots. You know, then we get games like this where he gave up seven goals against Edmonton on March 10. Edmonton has an extremely high-powered offense. I understand things like this are going to happen. My concern with him was more so in the beginning of the year. And with that being said, he has 15 games where he's given up three or more goals, two of which he gave up seven, two of which he gave up six. He's had 12 games where he's given up two goals or fewer on the Ottawa Senators. So is it because the Ottawa Senators are young, these are going to be the kind of growing pains, or is this just a sign of things to come? Now I understand that the two seven goal games happened at two different times of the season. The two six goal games kind of happened back to back. But if you look at a lot of these games where he's given up multiple goals, there's a lot of stretches where it was six goals, four goals, four goals, four goals. And I get it that some people have a hot streak and some people have a cold streak and then it takes something to just snap out of it. This year, he's getting $4 million. Next year, he's going to get six. The year after that, he's going to get seven. And the year after that, he's going to get eight. Will they try to restructure the deals? Will they try to trade him? I don't think that that's going to happen because if we're looking at his total amount of wins right now, so right now he's 10 and 13 and he's had 15 games where he's given up three goals or more. When you start listening to those numbers, it kind of leads you to believe that yes, part of it is due to his team, but something is not right and something's happening with Matt Murray. Hopefully he recovers from this lower body injury and next season he is the goaltender that he was in Pittsburgh. Although he did have some struggles in Pittsburgh before they ended up shipping him out in the playoffs, which ultimately is what ends up leading to the Penguins trading goaltenders. If there's anything that I've learned, it seems like when the Pittsburgh Penguins decide to let go of a goaltender, they know something that we don't know. You don't give up a ton and you don't really pay these guys all that kind of crazy cash. They'll probably end up getting another youthful goaltender like they have right now in Ottawa. They may end up trying to deal Matt Murray, or they may end up leaving him available for a team like the Seattle Kraken to try to take, which would be ironic and poetic that the Penguins' two former goaltenders would end up on the two expansion teams. Let me know what you guys think of Matt Murray in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, at Raw Sports Talk. Follow me on Twitter, at Raw Sports Talk 1. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I'm out. Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it. Oh